technology and AI don't eliminate jobs. They optimize them and they let you put people in different places to run your restaurant and your business better. Today, I want to talk about what I saw this weekend at Texas Roadhouse that made my dining experience better, but also a couple of little nuances. My goal is to help, to help restaurant owners finally get to where they want to go. But more than that, my goal is to find entrepreneurs within that segment that actually know what it means to hustle. That's my goal. Come on the journey with me. Restaurant Marketing Secrets, episode 744. I'm your host, Matt Plapp, and today we're talking about technology and Texas Roadhouse. So first off, if you've not been to a Texas Roadhouse, I highly encourage it. I don't know what it is about the restaurant. Maybe it's the affordability of some of their entrees versus regular steakhouses. Maybe it's the quality based on how they butcher in-house. Or maybe it's the freaking rolls they give out for free. But whatever it is, it is packed no matter what day and what time we go. We have one near our house and we have one near my daughter's college. We go to the one by her college quite often because her and her friends love it. And we go there and treat them to lunch or dinner. And I got to say, they are always jamming inside that restaurant. And it's a middle class crowd. So if I was you as a restaurant owner, I would get on ChatGPT, I would get on Google, and then I would also go visit, ask, find out what they are doing that is not only, one, staffing that restaurant because it's never understaffed, but number two, what they are doing marketing-wise to drive people in. The one thing I like about the restaurant is it's a good middle-of-the-road steak, but also those damn biscuits, those are not biscuits, the rolls and the butter. I don't know what they put in them. Seems like a pretty basic product, and I don't know what a basket of rolls cost, but we went through three of them the other night, and they got about 150 bucks out of us for regular food. So maybe there's something there. It's like the chips at the Mexican joint, maybe Texas Roadhouse is the rolls and the butter. But technology-wise, I want to talk about two things. Number one, embracing technology to make your staff more efficient. And obviously, you know I love the marketing side. One thing they're doing at this restaurant that they push pretty hard is pay at the table. You've got a little kiosk on there. Let me look and see what I zoom in. It says on it. It says Ziosk, Z-I-O-S-C. And they've got on here four choices. Browse the menu, join the VIP club, which you know I love, play games, pay now. I like the pay now aspect because this place is always jamming and the servers are running around and you can log into there, put your credit card information in, pay your bill and be done. It's very easy. It's seamless. I've not had any issues with it. The join the VIP club, again, pretty systematic, pretty simple. I've joined the club multiple times just to try and check it out and see if I can get in there twice and what happens with regards to the duplicates, what they send me. But the one thing that did crack me up about this is when I click browse menu, it gives me a QR code to scan to go see the menu. Now, I'll do a blog post on this because that's a little friction. Now, I would imagine that's because the company they're using for the kiosk at the table doesn't have an integration to put the menu on there, I would assume. And I don't know how big of a customer they are for this product. So I understand from a tech standpoint that sometimes you can't make everything work for everybody. It's just what marketing and technology is. But it would be a heck of a lot easier if that tablet at the table had the menu on there versus scanning. But it is what it is. We've all got a phone. It's pretty simple. But I will say, the one thing I have seen a lot of restaurants doing more and more now that a lot of you need to look at is leveraging technology like this to make it easier on your customer to do things that your staff might not need to do. It's kind of like the pop machine being out in the open. That some restaurants, you got to talk to your server to get a refill of your Coke. Other restaurants, you walk up and get your own Coke refill. You got to ask yourself, what can you do to leverage your employees to do things that make the experience better and at the same time technology? Me handing her a credit card and paying is not that complicated. Me doing it at the table is not that complicated. But if I'm looking at this restaurant and they've got 100 tables and they've got, let's say, 10 servers covering a big footprint, them not having to come and collect credit cards every 90 minutes is going to make it to where they can service the customers in different ways. It's the same with chat GPT and AI. We've been using forms of AI in our marketing company for probably five to six years, maybe even longer. And the thing we've used it for is not to eliminate employees, it's to optimize them. We've not let anybody go because we're using AI for certain parts of our company. We have taken things off people's plates and made them better employees and more valuable in their career and let AI do some of the lifting. 
So if you're looking at optimizing your restaurant and you're struggling with finding employees, think about what you can do to make your employees job easier and more seamless and having them do more important things versus taking credit cards. That's all I got. Talk to you tomorrow.